For those of you who have been deathly bored on Gran Turismo 7 and have not had a good reason to play lately, I have something pretty exciting to show you. Introducing Shuffle Races, a new unofficial game mode for Gran Turismo 7 which was previously a feature way back in Gran Turismo 5. This game mode has become so popular that even Gran Turismo World Series drivers are starting to participate. Here's how it works. First, a bot will select a random track and tire compound. Then it will search a database containing the performance points info across all the road cars in the game. It will select a certain PP range and assign those cars to drivers at random. This brings a whole new level of variety to online lobbies, as you will be driving cars that you have previously never touched in the game before. You could find yourself in a ND Miata, racing against a 2 million credit Alpha, or in an Alpine A110, getting bullied by a Toyota Tundra. This mode brings a whole new style of racing that Gran Turismo has been missing for years. So far I have participated in multiple shuffle race events and every lobby was populated, and the demand for more just keeps getting bigger. This is arguably one of the best ways to play Gran Turismo 7 now, and I am hoping that at some point Polyphony adds this as an official game mode that will work for all players using the rental system. There are a couple caveats to this game mode though. The first thing is you will need to have a solid road car collection. This game mode uses a huge variety of cars, so if you get assigned a car that you currently do not have in your garage, you will either have to re-roll, which will always end up getting a slower car than before, or you would have to back out of the lobby and go purchase it. If you don't have the ability to purchase the car, your last option would be to trade with somebody in the lobby. But if you don't have a good collection of cars, then there's a high probability that your spot is going to get sniped whenever you leave the lobby. So in order to participate, you pretty much have to have a solid collection. This mode also requires BOP to be turned on and wide body and engine swaps to be disabled. So any cars that you have with these upgrades will not be allowed to race. However, if your car is tuned without a wide body or a swap, it will just revert back to its stock settings, so there's no need to worry there. There have also been certain parameters to prevent certain combinations. For example, the bottom and top ends of the PP range have been excluded due to balancing issues. At these ranges, the performance gap between the cars is too wide, making for extremely uneven races. There have also been parameters set for tire choice. For example, running sports softs or even racing tires on low performance cars will completely ruin the drivability of them. This means you won't be getting combinations like getting race compounds on a Golf or comfort compounds on a 458. The tire compounds that are chosen will actually suit the car that it was assigned for. Shuffle races are held almost daily in the unofficial Gran Turismo Discord. If you would like to participate, I would highly suggest joining and adding the lobby and shuffle roles to get notified of events. There's also quite a bit of downtime between races. This is because the host or the bot operator has to keep track of who's in the lobby, and sometimes it could get pretty time consuming. So this isn't really streamer friendly at the moment. The process will be more streamlined soon with a new tool and improvements to the organization of the events, so at some point, downtime will be minimized. And that is everything you need to know about shuffle racing. If you don't have a collection of road cars yet, I highly suggest doing the money grind races in single player and start collecting the cheapest road cars first, making your way up to the most expensive ones. I would also suggest prioritizing invitation cars, used car dealer, and legendary dealer cars. That way you don't have to wait multiple months to get certain things. Race cars are not used for these events, so you can disregard collecting those if you prefer. And so that about does it for this video. This is essentially just a promotional post to let people know about shuffle racing and where to find them if you are interested. I will be uploading more shuffle racing videos in the future, and I will also be streaming it whenever it becomes applicable to do so. These races are super fun, and every time it is an absolute blast. Because for once, instead of running the same group 3 and 4 cars all week every week, you actually get a nice variety and you get to drive stuff that you've never touched before. And every single race has been interesting so far. So, for those of you who are interested, make sure you join the Discord linked in the description, and we hope to see you all there.